Hi, this is Ryan with Blair Technology Group, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make recovery media for your Windows 8.1 machine. Uh, essentially the same thing that you used to get with most computers, uh, like a Windows DVD um, to reload Windows from scratch. Uh, they no longer provide these DVDs for refurbished machines. Uh, however, you can download uh, basically the exact same thing from Microsoft directly and it's free. Uh, the only thing you'll require is a 4 gigabyte flash drive. It has to be at least 4 gigabytes. Uh, you do want to take any information off of the flash drive that you're wanting to keep. Uh, during this process, it will format the flash drive, essentially wiping everything off it to get ready for the uh, installation media. I've gone ahead and pulled up the website where you uh, download the restoration files or the installation media. Um, I will have a link on the bottom of the video, so you should be able to click that link and it'll take you directly to this page. As you can see, there's some written instructions on how to do this process as well. Uh, the very first thing we'll need to do is figure out exactly what version of Windows you have installed. So you want to go down to the Start menu in the bottom left hand corner, right click on the Start menu, and then left click on System, which should be the fourth option from the top. Um, this will pull up a few basic information about your computer screen uh, under Windows edition up at the top. Uh, this is Windows 8.1, which is what they consider the home version. Uh, if you had Windows 8.1 Professional, it would say Windows 8.1 Pro or Windows 8.1 Professional. Uh, the second thing you want to look at here is your bit rating, whether or not you have 64-bit or 32-bit installed. Um, 99% of the time you should have 64-bit installed. We typically only install 32-bit by request. Uh, and you want to make notes of exactly what you have here because it will come in handy here in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and click this Create Media button. Now I'm using Internet Explorer here, so you're going to see the prompt pop up here at the bottom asking if you want to run, save, or cancel. Uh, if you're using Internet Explorer, you can just go ahead and click Run. Uh, it'll download the file and automatically uh, run the installation file. Um, if you're using another browser, it's probably going to save the file, and it's most likely going to save it to the Downloads folder in My Documents. Uh, so you'll need to find the file and just double click and, and run the file. Uh, once you run the file, uh, this next screen here should pop up. Once you have this window open, uh, you'll just need to go through some settings, uh, pick your language, uh, which should be English by default, as you can see here, United States. Uh, and then you want to choose your edition, uh, whether or not you have Windows 8.1, uh, like I've installed on this machine, or Windows 8.1.1 Professional. And then you want to choose your bit rating, as you see here, I choose 64-bit. Uh, once you have these uh, tabs filled out, you can just go ahead and click Next. This next set of options will ask you, do you want to create a USB flash drive or do you want to download an ISO file? Uh, the ISO file would be what you want if you want to burn an actual DVD. Uh, however, we typically suggest that you use a, a USB drive. It's just, it's much quicker process and it's a, a lot easier to use in my opinion. Um, so once you have your selection picked here, uh, USB flash drive should be by default. You can just go ahead and click next. Now as long as you have your USB flash drive plugged in, it should automatically recognize it as it did uh, my flash drive here, my Kingston flash drive. Uh, so you do want to make sure that it is actually pointed at the proper flash drive that you want to use. Uh, once you're confident that it is pointed in the right direction, uh, you can just go ahead and click next again. The next thing that will pop up will be a confirmation. Uh, that you do want to wipe your USB flash drive. This is required, um, so you can just go ahead and click OK. If you've not gotten everything off of your flash drive and there's stuff you want to keep, uh, now's the chance to do it before you click OK here. Uh, once you do click OK, it's going to start wiping the drive and downloading the installation file. Um, this process takes quite some time, so I'm going to skip significant 
parts of this. I think the whole process took roughly about an hour. Uh, just to save time on the video, we're going to skip over some of this part and we'll kind of fade in and out and show you the different steps as it goes through. Creating the USB flash drive is the final step. Uh, so once this is completed, uh, your flash drive will be ready to use as restore media. Uh, this process took me roughly about an hour. Uh, it could take you longer depending on the speed of your machine, uh, especially the download speed because it's a relatively large file you need to download. Uh, so once you see the screen that your USB flash drive is ready, uh, you can go ahead and pull your flash drive out uh, and the process should be complete. Uh, I will have a follow-up video on how to install Windows using your USB flash drive and that will be on our YouTube site as well. Uh, and there will also be a link in to the comments of basically part two of this video. Uh, so if you run any problems or have any questions, certainly feel free to give us a call. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, number is 855-252-4784. Again, that's 855-252-4784. Thank you. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.